Hey guys, welcome to another computer graphics tutorial. Today we will be learning about flat panel displays, a tutorial by QuickCS. Okay? So what are flat panel displays? The term flat panel display are video devices that have three advantages compared to a CRT. A significant feature of flat panel display is that they are thinner than CRTs. And CRT means cathode ray tube. Okay? So if you don't know what CRT is, I have made a separate video on CRTs. You can just check it out. Okay? So CRT means cathode ray tube and we can hang the flat panel displays on walls or wear them on a wrist okay so flat panel displays are lightweight flat panel displays have less power requirement compared to the crt flat panel displays are basically thin and uh, lightweight devices display devices okay what are the types of flat panel displays we'll just look at it now okay there are two types of flat panel displays emissive display and non emissive display so what does this mean Okay, emissive display. Emissive display displays that convert electrical energy into light. Okay, plasma panels, thin film electroluminescent display, and light emitting diodes are example of emissive display. Basically, the displays that convert electrical energy into light, or converts it into light. Basically, it doesn't require any other external light source. That's what emissive display means. Okay, examples are plasma panels thin film electroluminescent display and light emitting diode okay now what are plasma panels a plasma panel or plasma display panel pdp is a type of flat panel display common to large tv displays 30 inches or larger okay because if it is shorter it is not feasible and it's very difficult to make displays that are smaller than that plasma displays basically they are called plasma displays because they use small cells containing electrically charged ionized gases which are plasmas okay so basically plasma panels contain gases which are electrically ionized or charged okay and they cannot be shorter than 30 inches okay that's these are the two main points that you remember plasma panel display or plasma display panel okay plasma screens are made out of glass this may cause glare from reflected objects in the viewing area. Basically, the, re, uh, the disadvantage of plasma panel screen is that it is made up of, out of glass. So, suppose there is an object kept in front of the TV, then it can cause glare or reflection. The plasma that illuminates the screen can reach a temperature of at least 1200 degree Celsius or 2200 degree Fahrenheit. That's a very high temperature, guys. Though plasma panels have superior uniformity, then LCD, but plasma panel consume very high electric power compared to LCD and LED. Usually around 400 to 500 watts are required for plasma panels, which is very high energy requirement, electrical energy requirement. So these are the disadvantages of plasma panel display. Basically it heats up. It can have very hot spots or basically the spots where the picture can uh, get distorted because after, uh, let's say you are keeping a picture stationary then it can cause plasma panel display to dysfunction and it requires very high electrical power okay so these are the disadvantages of plasma panel display thin film electroluminescent display thin film electroluminescent display are similar to a plasma panel but the difference is that the region between the glass plates is filled with a phosphor like zinc sulfide doped with manganese instead of a gas basically plasma panel display has gas in it which is ionized with electricity and in thin film electroluminescent display we have a uh, compound like zinc sulfide doped with magnesium now electroluminescent display require more power as compared to plasma why is this because gases get get charged that plasma can get charged easily but electroluminescent display con contains zinc sulfide which is a solid again so you need extra power for that also good color and grayscale displays are difficult in uh, difficult to achieve in thin film electroluminescent emission display so this is the disadvantage you require high power and good color and grayscale displays are difficult to achieve in this light emitting diode this is the third type of emissive display okay light emitting diode basically nowadays we are using this only light emitting diode led tvs we don't use the plasma panel display and the thin film electroluminescent display because they are outdated now this is what is there in fashion light emitting diode and it's much more cheaper and comparatively gives much more better results a matrix of diode is arranged to form the pixel positions in the light emitting diode display basically in place of pixel positions you just make a matrix of diodes 
the picture definition is stored in a refresh buffer just like in crt you just store it in refresh buffer in led display information is read uh, from the refresh buffer and converted to voltage levels that are applied to the diodes to produce the light patterns in the display so basically when uh, the information is stored in the refresh buffer it is retrieved and it is converted into voltage levels that are applied to the diodes to produce light patterns in the display basically it is producing different different light patterns to form the picture okay now this is how let's say a led display looks like now we'll learn about non emissive displays okay we learned about emissive displays there are three types we learned all about them in detail now we'll learn about non emissive display non emissive display are use optical effect to convert natural light or light from some other sources into graphics pattern example of non emissive flat panel display is a liquid crystal display this is also what is a current technology but mostly it is replaced now with led but lcd that is liquid crystal display is still in use okay now what is a liquid crystal display a liquid crystal display is a flat panel display that uses the light modulating properties of liquid crystals liquid crystals do not emit light directly okay that's the reason they are called non emissive display they don't convert electrical energy into uh, our light source or they they require an external light so that's why they are called non emissive they are not emitting light okay so instead it uses a backlight or reflector to produce images in color or monochrome lcds are available to display arbitrary images as in general purpose computer display okay that's what lcds are used for nowadays but mostly they are replaced nowadays your laptop screens are replaced with your uh, leds but some monitors that are there they are still lcd okay or fixed images with low information content for example you use calculator the calculator screen is made up of our lcd nowadays it is still there in use which can be displayed or hidden such as preset word digits or segment displays as in a digital clock even in digital clocks they are made up of lcds they use the same basic technology even in the complex stuff as well as in simple stuff except that arbitrary images are made up of large number of small pixels while the other displays like large uh, have large elements like your calculator or your watch they have large elements this is an example of liquid crystal display this is how it looks or even your digital watch or your digital calculator which you have thank you guys for watching this video hope you like this video please subscribe to our channel guys like and share this video with your friends if you have any doubt feel free to ask them in the comment section below thank you